Hey, Peter. Yes. <laughs> Want to say hi? Hello. All right, so in two years, you're going to have 100,000 subscribers. Trust me. Hold on. Let's back up. As you probably know by now, I went to power a video in Belfast and <laughs> it was the best week ever. It was such a great week. I met so many people. It was such an experience, so much inspiration. It literally exceeded all of my expectations. But even though it was such a great week, it wasn't always as easy as it seemed. The thing is, everyone always tells you to just follow your dream and just do it. But how do you follow your dream when you feel like you're just not good enough? If you don't know me yet, my name is Lila and this is the beginning of my journey of overcoming my insecurities and following my dream. When I started my channel, I never expected anything of it. It certainly wasn't my dream and I definitely wasn't trying to become a YouTuber. I just wanted something that made me feel good. And that was making videos. But while I was making and uploading these videos, I saw likes, I saw comments, and I actually saw people subscribing. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> and I actually, I actually still don't really know. But the number keeps increasing up until this day. It keeps increasing. So many people have joined me and so many people are joining me. And it leaves me speechless because all I can think is, why me? And this, this is where the imposter syndrome comes in. Imposter syndrome, anxiety or self-doubt that results from persistently undervaluing one's competence and active role in achieving success. Basically, people with imposter syndrome struggle with believing in their own capabilities and potential and are therefore waiting for that moment that they will be exposed. The moment that other people will find out that they're not as good as they thought they were. It doesn't really matter how many compliments you get. It doesn't really matter how many achievements are unlocked. That self-doubt is still there. And for me personally, it comes in waves. In July, I came across this event called Power of Video. I kind of wanted to go, like something inside of me told me that I should go. But then fear got in the way. What was I thinking? It would just be a waste of money because I'm never going to get anywhere. It is only a matter of time before it all slows down and it all collapses and it's taken away from me. My dad, on the other hand, the supportive dad that he is, he actually believes that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So he asked me every day if I already made my decision and if I was going to go to Belfast. And because I kept doubting myself, he wanted to make sure that I would go. So he booked my flight and I guess we're going to Belfast. Thanks, Dad. As soon as I arrived in Belfast, I felt so good. I didn't have any worries. I didn't have any doubts. Everything was good. And on the first day, one day before Power Video started, I met these guys, Mason, Greg, Darren and Jeremy. And we had a blast. We ended up spending the entire weekend together. On the second day, before I was going to go to Power Video, Cody and I had made plans to drink a cup of coffee. And this is when I ran into Gene or Potato Jet, who was literally bleeding out of his arm and I ran into Sam, Sean and Peter. Uh, hello! <laughs> she was asking for coffee uh, recommendations but I'm not from here so I bring my own AeroPress and beans and I, I do it in my room like a, like a weirdo. Um, but it's good that I don't have to worry about asking people where good coffee is wherever I go in the world so it's, it's actually amazing. Thanks Peter. <laughs> Cody and I decided to go to Starbucks. After meeting up with Cody, I went to the Uster Hall where Power Video was held. 
I still had no self-doubt, no signs of imposter syndrome. I actually felt so great. I could fully be myself, which is kind of weird because you're in this strange situation, this new situation where you don't know anyone. I was just so excited to meet all of these new people and also learn a lot from people who have been in the industry for a lot longer than I have. But then later that night, it hit me. thing that gets me is that people tell me that I'm going to do great things and and they say all these nice things and I have such a hard time believing them and being confident about it because people are talking about me people are talking to me they're saying that i'm crushing it and i'm getting all these subscribers and i'm so grateful for you <sighs> but i honestly i don't really understand what's going on i don't feel worthy of everything that's going on and that i i don't feel worthy of the credit that i get and i don't feel worthy of um, the achievements and of the subscribers and sometimes it's just really hard Honestly, I don't know why it happened I don't understand it because I was meeting and hanging out with people that I've been watching and that inspire me every day and they were all surprisingly so accepting of me so why didn't I feel like I belonged there? And this is why I decided to ask Peter for some advice. I typically hate every single video that I ever make. Now, I don't hate my work ultimately as like a whole body, but uh, I'm never really satisfied or very happy with my end result. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think what that does is actually continues to push me to strive for that next level of achievement, right? So if I don't like the video that I'm making, uh, that's only gonna make me want to make a video that I really like and if I don't like that one It's kind of like a vicious cycle now. It, it's important to be a fan of yourself And you, you want to you know be inspired and pumped on the work that you're making, but Yeah, there's just uh, I think it's just a really high standard that I set for myself But in turn that pushes me constantly to make better content. If I really don't want to upload a video uh, I won't make a video because I want the stuff that goes out to be stuff that I want to go out Yeah Right? But sometimes I'm not, at the end of the day, I watch it back. And we've all done this, right? You, you look at your videos and you're like, oh, that would have been, that could have been done better. Or that slider shot is a bit, bit, bit like, uh, wobbly or could have warped stable. I forgot to color that clip. And you always pick little things apart, but you're your own worst critic as well. Yeah. Like, you're just holding this camera like higher and higher. Like, like, I'm, like, I'm so I'm trying, tiny. <laughs> I'm trying to like tiptoe as it gets higher. Don't be your own worst enemy, like be be your own like biggest fan for sure, but like definitely leave room for improvement and, and that feeling is totally normal. We all go through it, myself included. So we're all people, we're all doing the same thing. Just more eyeballs on one than, a, than another, but it's still, I still feel the same thing you guys feel. During our talk, which was also partially off camera, he ensured me to never ever worry about being less valid or less valuable than other people who have been doing it for longer. It always helps when someone else tells you this and especially someone else who isn't a stranger to feeling these things too. So I decided to take his advice and turn it into my story and turn it into this video. And after our talk, I still had two more days to go. And those days, I honestly think that those days are the best days of my life. having to leave. <laughs> the best part of all of this is that 
I didn't fail. I succeeded. And I wouldn't say that I have overcome this insecurity now because obviously it's still going to be around and it's still lurking. It actually was a big deal when I was editing this video. This, this insecurity is still there, but despite of my insecurity and despite of my fear, I still went and I still did it. And I am so much richer, richer in friendships, richer in knowledge, richer in experience. It was really worth it. And in my book, happiness is success. And this entire experience and meeting all these people and having made new friends, that just makes me so incredibly happy. And now don't get me wrong, I am not sharing this story because I want to be a hero and I don't want to share this story because I want you to feel sorry for me that I have these insecurities. I am sharing this story because I know that I'm not the only one. I am not the only one who's struggling with not feeling good enough, feeling like they're going to fail, and I for a fact understand how hard it is to just go for it and just do it when you're so afraid that sooner or later it's just all going to collapse. I'm sharing this because if I can do it, so can you. And if this story inspires just one of you to go out there, despite of your fear, despite of your insecurity, despite of what may happen, to take that one step towards your dream or your goal, that is, that would make me so very, very happy. And I get it, I get it, it is so scary. But if there is one thing that I can tell you, it is so worth it.